Hi guys, welcome to my new After Effects video. So today is the first day of the Do It Basil series. And in this video, I'm gonna show how to rig a full face with Do It Basil 2. Let's get started. So my friend, first of all, do you want to download and install Do It Basil 2? You can watch my video and you can learn how to download and install Duik Basil 2 last version. I will add this link in the description below. So let's go to After Effects, Vectors from Freepik.com. I will add download link and project files. First one, let's select this body and lock layer and select these all layers. Let's press P and select all positions with hold control like this. Okay, then right mouse and select the separate dimension. Okay, we can see two dimension, X position and Y position. Okay, that's good. So let's change interface, go to window and select character rigging. You can watch my video after this for beginners and you can learn how to do this character rigging interface. Okay, nice. So first step, let's make new passing chain frames, X and Y positions. Then go to 5k frame. Let's click here and right here plus 5. Click OK. And let's make again new k frames like this. And again go to 5k frames. Let's again click here and right here plus 5. Click OK. Nice. And make new k frames. Let's zoom to k frames like this. OK. Then Let's select this red up like this and control D. Select these red lines. Let's move to inside here. Okay, and if you not see this part, go to here, click toggle switch modes. And let's select these red lines, change alpha matte red one up to. Okay, nice. Then let's go to first second. And select this first chief frame X position and let's move to left mods. Then select this I right. Let's move to left and I left. Move to left and I brown left. Let's move to like this. And I brown right. Let's move to left. Okay, and nose. Let's move to left like this. Let's see. Okay. Let's select these mods and move to right like this. Okay, and go to center. Let's see. Okay, nice. Let's select this air left. Let's move to right and air right. Move to left and select these two air layers. Move to behind face layer. Okay, nice. So go to first second again. Let's select these red lines. Let's move to left. Okay, let's see. Nice. And select this air right. Let's move to right like this. And air left. Move to inside like this. Let's see. Okay, nice. Let's select this air left. Move to inside like this. Let's say again. Okay, that's good. And select this hair right. Let's move to right like this. And move to down. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And let's go to center. And select this hair right. Select this center shape frame. And move to left. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And also select this hair left. Let's move right. This is center key frame. And go to first second. Let's move to right like this. Okay. So select this hair right. Let's move to right. And hair left. Move to right. Like inside. Let's see. 
Okay, very nice. So friends, and now let's go to large keyframe and I want to move to all objects to right. Again, select modes. Let's move to right. And I right. Let's move to right. And I left. And I brown. And this I brown. And nose. Okay, and again red lines let's move to right like this let's see okay nice and a right let's move the inside like this and a left move to left like this okay very nice and here right Let's move to inside and move to down and here left move to left and down let's see nice and let's select this here right move to left and here left move to left like this okay nice So in this time, go to window, open Duik Bezel 2 and click Rigging. Then let's go to Connector and click this circle. Okay, and I want to this to this slider. Let's click for Create. Nice. And let's select this FX Control. Let's put here. Nice. Okay, and in this time, let's select these X position keyframes. Select all. Only X position keyframes. Okay, then. Go to here, do it bezel, and we can see here axis X and minimum 100, maximum 100. So let's click connect the properties. Nice. So select this controller like this and open slider, open size and change size like this. Okay, and open handle, change size nice and let's select this here left move to left like this okay nice like this this red circle let's see okay this is left and this is right okay very nice so let's go to window workspace and select this standard nice so friends now i want to make look up and look down tree frames First one, select this again modes. First, Y yeah, position keyframe. And let's move to up. Then select this I right, move to up. And select this first keyframe I left, move to up. Let's see. Okay. And I brown left, move to up. And I brown right. Okay, then nose, let's move to up. Let's see. Okay, let's select these modes. Move that again up. Nice and red down. Let's try move to up like this. Okay, very nice. And red lines. Let's move to up. Nice. And red up. Let's move to up. And let's see. Face. Okay. And A right. Also select first keyframe. Move to up. And A left. Select first keyframe. Move to up and then 
here right, move to up and here left, move to up, then finally here right, again say first shape frame, it's moved up and here left, moved up. Okay, let's see. Nice. So let's go to here and select this I right. Let's try moved up and I left, moved up. Okay, let's I bronze and this I bronze. Nice. So go to here, last shape frame. And in this time, I want to look to down. Again, select modes, move to down, and let's select these double shape frames. I right and I left. Let's try move to down. And I bronze, left and right. Let's try move to down. And nose. Select last shape frame, move to down. Let's see. Okay, and right down. Select last shape frame, move to down. And red lines, move to down. And red up, move to down. Let's see. Nice. And let's face is still. And a right, select last shape frame, move to down, and a left, move to down, and here right, and here left. Let's try move to down, okay. And finally, here right, and here left. Move to down like this. Let's see. Nice. So friends, let's back to again do bezel and select these year passing shape frames like this and don't forget to select only year position three shape frames. Okay, select like this. Hold shift and select only year passing shape frames. So after select only year passing shape frames, go to again Duke Basil, change axis Y, and click connect to properties. Nice, let's select this controller, let's see. Okay, nice. This is look up and down, left and right. Okay, that's good. So we can make animation with these circles. Let's close Duke Bezel and select this slider. Let's change name face control and select these sliders, lock layers. Select this face, let's press P, make new pattern shape frame and go to 10 shape frame. Let's move to right like this. Okay, we're nice. And let's go to center and move to down. Let's see. Nice. Select shape frames, make easy. Go to graph editor and let's see graph. Select the shape frame, move to left and this. Let's see. Okay, nice cartoon effect. So we have problem with this layer, but after make shape frames, we can hide this part inside red background. This is not a big problem. Okay. So let's make J frames like this. And select these three J frames. Hold Alt, move to right. Okay, nice. And let's make new passing J frame again. Go to here. Let's move to left like this. Okay, and make new passing shape frame again. Go to here. Let's move to down or move to right, down. Let's see. Nice. 
So friends, this is day one. I will show how to make iBlinks animation with slider in day two. Thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.